In this video, you will learn how to display multiple columns in drop-down list in Excel. Let's get started. Here you can see that the entire table containing five columns is display in the drop-down list. When you select a row in the drop-down, only the item in the first column is displayed in the drop-down cell, while the values of other columns in the same row are displayed in different cells. To H this result, please follow the instruction step by step. In this case, we need a combo box as an alternative to data validation drop-down list. Go to the Developer tab, select Insert, and then select Combo Box in the ActiveX Controls group. Draw a combo box in a cell where you want to display the drop-down. Right-click the combo box, then select Properties from the Context menu. In the Properties dialog box, find the Column Count field. Enter a number that represents the number of columns you want to display in the drop-down list. Here I enter a number 5. Go to find the column widths field and define the width for each column. In the linked cell field, specify a cell to output the same value as the one you selected in the drop down. In the list fill range field, enter the range you want to display in the drop down list. In the list width field, specify a width for the entire drop down list. Close this properties dialog box. Go to the developer tab, turn off the design mode by just clicking the design mode icon. Go to click the arrow of the combo box. The list will be expanded and you can see the specified number of columns being displayed in the drop down. If you want to display items from other columns, go ahead and apply the following formulas. Here you need for formulas to get the values of the second, third, fourth and fifth columns. You can copy these formulas in the post. The entire operation is now complete. You can view multiple columns in a drop down list and return all values for the selected row. Thanks for watching.